So you see, uh, as a journalist working for the Statesman and subsequently for the Times of India, I uh, travelled and worked extensively in the uh, Eastern Himalayan region. So this book, The Buddha and the Borders, is an outcome of the ideas which and my observations which were there but which I could not write because everything cannot be written in the columns of the newspaper. So after subsequently to my retirement, I travelled further in this region and I have tried to develop this book. My, what has come to my uh, notice in my course of my travels and observations is that this Eastern Himalayan region, Trans Himalayan region has a distinct identity and they have got cultural, economic, family ties since centuries. This unfortunately because of big power rivalry since the days of the British uh, India and then subsequent India-China border disputes, this region has got divided, trade links have been snapped, family ties have been cut and as a result the people of this region have suffered. So I have tried to give a message in this book that the sooner this border dispute is settled, the better it will be from the point of view of these people of this region. This is a journalistic exercise, this is not an academic book, although there are some historical references and it has been done by talking to people the way reporters work and their ideas, their opinions. Uh, punched with historical uh, facts and some figures and I have tried to go in detail about the border trade which is now taking place through Nathula uh, which used to take place through Kalimpong what are the problems, what are the prospects and uh, I have also mentioned about uh, the issues, tried to issues because the inter Himalayan region suffers from the same problems and uh, of hydropower it has got its problems, it has got its plus points also. So I have tried to devote on that and uh, uh, what I have tried to uh, tell uh, the story uh, in a way that uh, the, uh, the border dispute as long as it is not settled it will get aggravated and the uh, current situation, what is happening in Ladakh and all that uh, is a pointer to that. So that is uh, what I have tried to say, I will be very happy, my labor will succeed if uh, it catches the attention of the government and the policy makers. So for writing this particular book, what are the different reasons that you have reached out to? Pardon? Uh, for writing this particular book, what are the reasons that you reached out to? Reasons, there are places or different states? Oh, oh different places, regions. I have visited, uh, of course, Darjeeling, Kalimpong, Sikkim extensively. I have gone to Bhutan, I have gone to uh, travel in Bhutan also, and I have traveled extensively in uh, the Western Hima, uh, Arunachal Pradesh, which is the Buddhist belt of Arunachal. Of course, I have been traveling to these regions since much earlier, but then in course of writing this book, uh, my travels and my inquiries were more intense and more focused. I have been travelling in fact to Tawang and all that since the days of the Samdurong crisis in 1987. Uh, so that got me insight about the problems and what are the issues in the border.